said, all right, turn the Bobby Brown off. I'm on my way home from work. This is my off work, go home, close. <laughs> all right, welcome to the Sci-Fi Express Lane. I'm Jeff Carroll. I'm about to express myself and let it out. All right. Today's topic of the expression is why comic books need good writers. And, and in some cases, just writers, period. Good Lord. It seems like it's, um, what do you call it? It seems like it's, um, goes without saying, but you know, uh, it's, it's forgotten, you know? Um, it's forgotten. It's comic books are a combination of pictures and words. That's it. It's not a picture book. It's not a photo album. It's pictures and words. And there are pages that have no words. Mind you, there's straight action only on the page. But then there's also pages with no pictures. The setup page is just as important as the action page. I say this because um, as a writer and a comic book creator, um, I engage with a lot of other comic book creators who are illustrators. And many times they get, they overlook the importance of uh, a good writer or writer in general, right? Is few times you see a comic book where it's a writer and no illustrator, so you're not going to see that. But you will see a comic book with um, a written by a illustrator who is not trying to even be a writer, right? They not even worried about the story, and um, they they feel that their comic book is good. And I think, again, I've said this before, some comic books and comic books in general in the independent market suck because they have good illustrations or better than average illustration and horrible stories. To me, that's like um, a movie with really good actors, beautiful picture, and a story that doesn't make sense right? That's to me what it feels like when you leave a writer out of the creative team or you dim diminish the creative team. Now, can there be poor illustration and uh, good writing? I actually think so. I think that is uh, stronger. And now, mind you, this is my bias as a writer, right? But I actually think there's a spectrum because art is so subjective that some people may think this illustration is not as good as it needs to be, but it's good, right? And I think a good story can carry that comic, and I would read it over a story with above average, sheesh, the best looking, I mean, you name it, it could be perfect illustration and a below average story or a story that's trash and I'm not reading it. But I will take a good story with subpar illustrations over a good illustrated story with no, um, good illustrated story with no story, with a trash story. So um, I've been in conversations with illustrators about this and it's amazing. You know, I, I have an illustrator that has a, a really interesting vintage, as I've been able to describe it, style. And it sells. People like it. It sells just as much as my other books. Actually, I have three or four different styles in my comic books, and none of them outsell anyone. They all sell relatively even. However, my fingernails book is new to the market. So right now, I think it's selling a lot because it's new. Um, but uh, my other stories are still selling, you know, and they're doing their damn thing, you know. And as nobody says, oh, um, this illustration is keeping me from reading 
this story. However, there are illustrators that will say, oh, I don't like this illustration style. So I don't know what it, I don't know what um, the reality is because I know I bring my bias to it. Um, and I know they, and I certainly recognize their bias. Um, however, you know, we'll see. I, I actually wanted to put my illustrators up to a, a, a panel discussion, a debate with, you know, some, some, um, impartial, uh, what do you call it? Um, comic book fans just to see, because I don't believe that, um, illustration style and quality will ruin a comic book meaning you give me a banging story everything else is firing and because it's a poor or not poor let's say below average illustration style right that it would ruin a book I'll tell you this if I buy the first issue of a story with the most award-winning illustration and the story is trash nothing will save that nothing will save that story the story is out i'm done because i'm ruling it as corny i don't buy comic books for artwork alone yeah the artwork is important i don't even know if i would buy a comic book with good artwork in a poor story if the story isn't good i don't care what the artwork looks like i'm not buying it if the story is good Yo, you give me basic artwork and I'm kind of working. Now, will it be my favorite comic book? Nah, it might not be. But I probably would keep reading it if it's engaging, right? But um, will it be my favorite comic book? No. I mean, I don't know what my favorite comic book is and I don't know if it fires on every cylinder. I do know that if it is my favorite comic book, I probably like it. And what I like about it is the story. Um... I don't know if I'm, and I don't know how many people there are like me. So um, I do know I'm like me, right? And there are probably other people like me. So what I will say to the market is there are people who like stories so much that artwork above a certain level doesn't really matter. It doesn't sway us. And I think some people need to hear this because they diminish writers so much. I'm like, dude, I don't care what the artwork looks like. Is the story good? Yo, know, for real. I mean, it needs to get drawn. It needs to look good. And I know there's people that won't look at stuff until the story, the illustration looks good. Cover. Yeah, I've seen banging covers with a title I can't pronounce. And what do I do? Look at it and move on. So you can have the bangingest cover. If, you're, if your story looks questionable, I'm not interested. I can't even pronounce it. It looks beautiful. But if I can't even pronounce, oh, cover's so important. Yeah, cover's got to have titles too. So all of that is writing. What you going to call it? What is it about? How do you phrase it? You understand? Sure, it, you know, if there's an intriguing cover and has a, um, a weird font, weird lettering, I might decipher it and still like it. And I'll look inside. Can I read it? Is the artwork so bad that I can't read the words? I can't make out the characters? Sure. But we're not talking about that level of illustration style. We're talking about basic illustration. So um, I just wanted to throw that out. I think it's a question that um, I actually think we need to talk about more. You know what I'm saying? I think it's something that we need to talk about. I, I think, you know, we've been taking this stuff for granted that we all on the same page. Maybe we not on the same page. So that's my sci-fi lane expression. Um, remember, like this. If you like what I say, um, I'm, I'm doing this for three years now. So um, I must have something to say. And um, subscribe and share. And then more importantly, you know, or as important, feel free to comment, you know, reach out to me. Let's knock this out. Um, let me know if you think writing is important at all or artwork. I have no idea. I'm actually going to go to the comic book store on my way home. I'm going to ask him in the comic book store. All right. Peace.